Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. In this lesson, we're going to get the variables in place up at the top here. And I thought it would be good to get a lot of the variables in place to begin with before we continue on. That way we're not uh, filling out some code, you know, coming back to the top, coming back, filling stuff out again as we complete the function. So just for easiness sake, let's get them in place first. So the first one can be of type public. It can be of type int and we'll say underscore days. We'll close the line off and straight into the comments. So we'll say it defines naming convention for the days. And as always, please don't worry if you don't understand how any of these are going to work. I mean, I think that one's fairly self-explanatory but um, you get the idea um, obviously when we come to fill out the functions down here I will explain how they all work so we'll just copy that and we'll paste it in and we'll paste it in four times and then we'll just go back and change what needs to be changed which is the naming convention here so the next one can be of underscore hours and we'll change the comments and we'll just keep going so the next one is minutes bring the comment back into line and seconds again we'll tidy up the comments as we go and the next one is going to be of type counter and we'll just change it here and you'll see how this works when we fill out the functions as I said so let's go ahead and create some more variables and again of type public of type int underscore I'm going to say dawn start time. Now, I'm going to say equal to six for now. I may change that. Um, but um, yes, this is obviously the time dawn begins. Um, you can set whatever time you like. I mean, I know everybody watching this video lives in different parts of the world and uh, how we experience our days are different for each and every one of us so you know set that to what you think is applicable for your game I'm going to set mine at 6 for now and obviously that will apply to the rest of the little block of variables we're going to create so we'll say defines dawn start in the comments and again we'll just copy this and we can just copy this one three times so there we go three uh, we'll just come to the front here and we'll change that to day start time and I'm going to make mine eight and we'll just change the comments as we go so day there and we want to change this to dusk and again we'll change the comment and the next one can be night and again we'll change the comment so let's change the time so I'm going to have my dusk start at 1800 hours so at six o'clock we're going to be working on a 24 hour clock in this script and I'll set night to uh, 20 hundred hours 8 o'clock so that's those in place and we'll just keep going so we'll say public and of type float and we'll say sun dim time 
and I'm going to make mine equal to 0.01f and we'll get it into the comments so we'll say speed at which sun dims so let's again copy this line and we'll paste it in uh, four times so there we go one more and I'll just undo that there we go so we'll just go through and we'll change what needs to be changed so this one can be underscore and we're going to say dawn sun intensity uh, we'll make that equal to 0 0.5 f and again once we've completed the script you may want to adjust these values that's why we're making them all public obviously once the script's completed and you've experimented you can switch these to private change them to what you want but we're going to make them public for now just so it's easily adjustable in the inspector so we'll say in the comments dawn sun strength and we'll just keep going so the next one is day sun intensity and this can just be equal to one we'll keep it as a float anyway and we'll change the comment so day sun strength and two more to do so now we need dusk sun intensity and let's give this a value of 0 0.25 f again we'll change the comment here dust sun strength and finally we'll say night sun intensity now I know we don't want the sun at night but that's why we're going to make sure that the directional light which is what we're going to adjust with these values cannot be seen at night by giving it a value of F and we'll change the comments so as I said you will want to experiment with these values the only one I would probably wouldn't suggest altering is the night sun intensity and I think we'll leave it here for this video we'll save it off so now we have at least the uh, basic variables in place in the next lesson we can continue on and just begin to fill out the functions here so as I said we'll leave it here for now I hope you enjoyed this video I hope to see you next time and until then as always bye for now